PHX. I'm Brian, I'm a nerd and a traveler, and as a nerd, I calculate things. Uh, like my average personal velocity, which doubled from 2008 to 2009 and doubled again this year, so I'm, I'm accelerating. Um, and I've got charts to prove that. Um, and man, I'm not spending much time at home these days. Uh, what, am I rich, retired? No, I just travel differently than most people. Um, you know, I don't really go on vacations. I uh, don't stay in resorts or hotels. I crash on friends' couches in various cities. And um, uh, you can see, let's see here. Uh, first screw up of the night, sorry about that. Uh, the, I, I usually get the window seat, and uh, it's my favorite seat on the plane. And uh, I get to spend a lot of time looking out the window and thinking. And I put together some thoughts of perspectives that I got from sitting in the window seat. First, the miracle of human flight never gets old for me. Um, you know, your first flight is fun, your 100th isn't. Why is that? Um, so, um, you know, looking through the window, it doesn't have to be in an airplane. It can be a computer screen thousands of miles away from home. And you become a spectator through that computer. You're no longer engaged in people's lives. And what I realized, not only with my friends at home, but my, also my friends abroad, um, I had these strong, weak relationships. Um, surfing on people's couches, I get intimate time, and I, uh, I get to know them a lot better, but with less frequency. <laughs> so say I, I stay on someone's couch twice a year, I actually have a better relationship with them than if I meet up for a beer once a month. So, you know, I visualized that. <laughs> now, when you're looking through the window, you get an outsider's perspective. And that, that can be really useful. Per perspective is key. And sometimes you, you see things much more clearly from afar. You know, your, your goals may seem more petty. Your, um, your problems may be more insignificant. And, you know, have you ever thought that people don't get who you are? The, the you that they see isn't the you that you think you are? Well, unless you see yourself from their perspective, how do you know that they're not right? So, you know, people, people are, or people think they are one person, but they might be another person. So look, look at yourself from their perspective and rethink things, like money. So do you have to be rich to live the lifestyle that you want? Not necessarily. You have to, um, uh, uh, let's see here. You don't have to be retired. You can, uh, uh, for example, live on the beach. Um, Say there, there, there are surfers out there, there are skydivers, and they live right next to the thing that they love. And they make minimum wage, and that's plenty to pay for their expenses. So you don't have to be rich, you don't have to have the white picket fence, you don't have to have the corner office, big house, five cars, you know, all that stuff. Um, you know, that might put you in debt, you might have to work long hours, you won't necessarily be happy. So it, it, it's really all about finding balance and balancing the things you want to sacrifice, or the things you're willing to sacrifice, for what you want to get out of life. So it's like the surfers and the skydivers. They're sacrificing the, the riches that they can make in an office, but they, they get the, the lifestyle that they want. Now, I don't really take vacations. I, I travel a lot, and you might think, you know, you must be living it up, you know, on the beach all the time. Well, you know, traveling doesn't have to mean vacationing. So I, I've, I've come up with these ideas of sustainable travel. Now, it's essentially just taking all the costs that you have in traveling and minimizing them so you can do it more and more. So, you know, transportation um, costs the same whether you're there for three days or three weeks. And I work while I'm traveling, so I'm not taking time off. So there's no opportunity cost lost there. And, you know, w when you're in a city, you don't have to spend the entire day traveling around. You know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. You know, ride around on a tour bus and take photos of the Colosseum. That's exactly what they did, right? No, they didn't. They work during the day and then they go out and live up at, at night. And you can go and immerse yourself in the actual culture there. So uh, thanks for flying with me today, Arizona. Uh, enjoy your stay or, uh, you know, wherever your final destination may be, PHX or wherever. <laughs> thanks.